Okay, for this lesson, we're going to dart manipulate using the slash and spread method, but instead, we're going to put this dart that's right here at the waist, we're going to put it right in the center front, okay? By slashing and spreading. So, as you've already know, you have to trace that one dart slope or so. Draw your grain line right here and line it up and then just trace. Trace the neckline, shoulder, armhole, dart notches, dart leg, and mark your apex. We'll circle, apex, bus point, okay? Then draw from the bus point apex right there. And what's next? You cut. Okay, so you've cut it out, all right? Now we're gonna mark it. Where do we want this dart? We want it to be in the center front, which is right there. That's where it's coming from. So take a red pen, from the apex, draw that line, just like that, okay? That is gonna be your guideline. Now, get another piece of dotted paper, 18 by 22. You can turn it upside down and then draw a line, a straight line. Let me see if I can find one right there. There we are, okay? Because you're gonna use that as a guideline. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna close that up, and by closing that up, it's gonna open that up. Okay, should be easy enough, right? Okay, so first, let's cut out this dart to there. To the apex and little yank, that's it. And then now you're gonna slash right there, okay? I'm gonna turn it. This is the center front where I'm cutting from. Then I'm going to the bus point, the apex, but not through, almost there. Ooh, good job. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. That dart is no more. How? We're going to do this. We're gonna spread. And voila, we've got a dart. Magic. <laughs> okay, easy. So now let's tape this up. Now let's redraw this dart. It's not coming from the apex, why? Because you get boom. You don't want that, okay? So you wanna go about five eighths up, five eighths up to an inch, all right? And then redraw your dart. Goes to there and then to here, okay? Let's see, what's this, okay? And then right there. You wanna then draw your punch hole. The punch hole goes from here, half an inch away. Find the middle right there and then go half an inch and then circle it, just like that. Easy as that. All right, so that is your dart. Now let's add the seam allowances and the notches. Let's just start with the dart right there. The dart will get half an inch seam allowance from this. This is the dart leg, the sewing edge. So take your ruler, just like that. Here's your half inch mark. Line it up, line it up to the dart leg, and then draw. Do the same thing for the other side. That's your guideline. Line it up to half an inch, half an inch right there. Line it up. And there you are, see? Right there, half an inch. This is the neck right here, and the neck is a quarter of an inch. So then draw the quarter of an inch. I'm following it, turning, 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 and there, just like that. This is your shoulder. The shoulder gets what? Half an inch, okay? And then do that, okay? You wanna square it. The armhole, the armhole will get half an inch. I start at the bottom and then just guide it. You can do the broken lines if you want, and then just guide it using your ruler. You can go slow, 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 slow. Make sure you keep with the half an inch. This is why these beveled rulers are so great, okay? Because it really shows you right there what it is. Here's your sewing line, half an inch extra, and then there you are, and finally at the waist. Curve, 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 and Nice, all right? So lastly, we just have our notches and the punch holes and the markings. Okay, so time to add the notches. Let's see, we've got our dart here. First, let's add our punch holes right there already. We see it, circle it, okay? Notches, see, there's your seam right there, your sewing line, notch, notch and notch. Shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. Now here's another way of doing notches. You can either do that line 
and you can also do a little T just like that. So it depends. Ask your instructor depending on how they like it. In the industry, a lot of times you see it drawn like that. I like to do the T actually, so I'm gonna do a T for this. T, and then a little T, and then another T, okay? And then center front, right there, so it's half a T, <laughs> like that. So you can do either way. Just make sure to ask if they just want a line or the T, okay? and then draw your grain line. One inch away from the fold right there, okay? And then right center, front, fold, like that. And then the information of the pattern, what is it? Okay, last but not least, don't forget that that's the fold. So what you can do is just maybe fold, draw one inch here and then cut, okay? I'm gonna cut like that and then make sure to fold right there and that's just to remind you because a lot of times when you're a beginner pattern maker you forget so make sure to tape that down so it stays on the fold it's a pretend fold <laughs> okay and then we're gonna cut and we've got an armhole right there a notch there we are <laughs> I'm gonna have the pattern right here so you guys can see. Here's the pattern. So you would sew this right here and then it would end up being like that. See, the dart's radiating from the center front and this is clean. It's very 50s, 60s kind of a look. Very mod man look, all right? Let me put this down again so you guys can see the proper pattern. There's the finished pattern. Take a look at where all the notches are, the information. That is how your pattern should look for the center front neck dart. Thanks for watching Fashion School with Nick Therios. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And just a reminder, many of these pattern exercises are in my book, A Basic Guide to Pattern Drafting, available on Amazon.com.